the old Celtic tradition, isn't it? To a Jaydana and pre pre Christian, even pre Celtic. I think there was something about him that was mystic and that he thought was mystic. I mean, I've been in uh, New Grange several times and I got a great feeling going through that tunnel, you know, up to that place where the little uh, graves are and all that. And I know I'm in a possession of something that's very kind of sacred. As I walked up the hill towards the entrance, and the hair began to rise in the back of my neck, and I said to myself, I have been here before, but never having been there before. And, and up the passage into the chamber, passing through the carved stones, and more and more I went, the hair rose up, and I got goosebumps all over me. And the young woman did the whole talk about the lozenges and the diamonds and the spirals. When she was finished, she asked, does anyone have any questions here? And I said, is there a feather carved in here somewhere? She said, oh, I nearly forgot. Uh, and it's right, she moved from where she was standing. Uh, she said, uh, right behind me, and it's not a feather, it's a fern. But I knew it was there, never having been there before. He wouldn't be a foolish, like he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be a man of Scientology. <laughs> There'd be a very, a very hard northern thing about Tommy Macon, you know. But then, round Cady, round Derry Moose especially, there were a lot of monuments about there, and Tommy also had that feeling about those. He had that, let's call it mysticism, you know. It was almost like that was his private world. And then when he was a public figure, he presented a persona that he had created to, to, uh, to show the, the rest of the world. And I got to the point where it was that public persona that he was shown to close friends, even like myself. And even to his family. Oh, nice day. I think Tommy felt very much at home in Dover. And Dover people knew him and Dover people respected him. But no matter where he went, he was always first and foremost a kiddie man. Just up the street here, there's an old graveyard, and you'll see people uh, who came from Ireland, not only from from Katie and Armagh, but 